If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Welcome to Cuisine with Jean and Sarah. We are so happy to have you back. Thank you. <laughs> this is great. Um, um, Sarah Hester with Right Revival. Uh -huh. You're the registered dietitian. Yes. And you brought in the most glorious strawberries. Oh, I mean, gosh. these aren't just like what, we, these aren't even close to what we see in the grocery store. Oh my goodness. Well, strawberry season is among us in North Carolina and it's fleeting. So we've probably got another three, four weeks of strawberry season. Um, so it's time to take advantage of them oh, and, yeah. and a lot of capture them. Local people, there are a lot of mm -hmm, local growers, mm -hmm. but these aren't just ripe, they're just bursting. They're so ripe. I just know, they're beautiful. beautiful. So. Nash County and all over Eastern North Carolina is just booming with strawberries right now. So we're taking advantage of that and we're um, buying strawberries from lots of different growers over um, all in North Carolina and trying to spread the strawberry love. And we're out in the community and we're actually doing some pop-up farmers markets. Oh, um, mm -hmm, and we'll go to businesses and we'll pop up and let um, your employees purchase some local products and we're bringing local strawberries along with us so we've got those and we've done some strawberry pre-orders with some businesses and um, schools over in uh, the area with Good. local berries so everybody gets a chance if right. they can't make it out to the farm then uh -huh. they get a chance to have local berries and I saw the chamber had an opportunity where you could mm. order blueberry strawberries mm -hmm. from Ripe Revival mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. we want to mention again around town farmers markets and whatnot Mama Jean's who mm -hmm. has been around forever mm -hmm. has got on um, near Winstead Elementary mm -hmm. near the Shell Station on Benvenu Road yeah. Um, at Bozeman Farms on 97, mm -hmm. and you've got another provider too. Mm -hmm. you want to I've got that? Strawberry City, and they're in Nashville, North Carolina, so Nash County, and um, I'll talk a little bit about them. They're a first generation farm. They've been growing strawberries for about 17 years, and they've had their U pick. So, a U pick, that means you can go to their farm and grab your bucket, and you and your kids go pick. And so, they've been doing that for about 14 years, and they've got ice cream and all the goodies that you can pick up while you're there and um, enjoy. But they also um, sell their product in stores and they put it in these plastic clamshells and that's how we give it mm -hmm. uh, and sell it to folks around town. So um, we're excited to work with them and we worked with um, Rob's Fresh Produce. They're in Bailey, North Carolina and um, yeah. And, might have to buy from Mama Jean soon. <laughs> well, and there's nothing like supporting our local farmers. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is mm -hmm. their livelihood. They mm -hmm. spend their money in our town. They support mm -hmm. us. And they're healthier to me mm -hmm. if you get them here instead of having them shipped from who knows where. Mm -hmm. Once you from... pick a strawberry, it doesn't continue to ripen. Uh -huh. So if you pick it and it's not fully red and juicy and ready, then it's never going to get there. So I agree. Good tip. Very I good think tip. Um, the most local you can get it as much ripen on the vine as you can get it, more flavor, mm -hmm. for sure. Good, uh -huh. I, that smells like it's heating up. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna jump right into it okay. and we're gonna make a freezer jam. So I, during strawberry season, there's nothing like that flavor, you just can't replace it. So I like to harness it all and preserve it all. Mm -hmm. And making jam, if you've ever made jam, it is a little bit of a, a task, a tool. Mm -hmm. um, so I have actually started making some freezer jam. Now freezer jam is not as shelf stable as jam if you were um, canning it and preserving it and making it so it could sit on a shelf. Um, freezer jam does have to stay in the freezer or in the fridge for a little bit shorter of time, um, but it's still got that strawberry flavor. And if you keep it in the freezer, you can harness it and use it for a year. Um, and so we're going to start with two cups of strawberries. So okay. I have whole strawberries that I just cleaned um, and I would dice them up pretty thin or I'm actually going to use my immersion blender uh -oh. with two cups. <laughs> Watch out. No one has Stay a white t-shirt on. Um, and um, 
about two cups and I kind of want to leave it somewhat chunky. I like to taste uh -huh. a little bit, of, right, feel a little bit of texture and jam. So we'll ah. start with that. Ah. You used that last time too, that immersion. I love it. this. Ah. Yeah, I can show you do. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so a few little chunks, but it's just, mm -hmm. and okay. do you want the, pro it was two, you're going to end up with two cups after it's been yes. pureed. Yes, yes, thank you for that. Cut so, back. Let's see, keep going a little bit. So I've got two cups. Berries, doesn't see. have to be perfect. Once you take it out of the freezer and put it mm -hmm. in the refrigerator, how long it, can you... Have yeah, I would say about it. three weeks. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. well, I can't match it to stay around months. much longer than that. Yeah. You? It, oh my gosh, no. And if you really um, don't think you're going to eat all that, we can you can put it in smaller jars, which I'm going to do today. And I saw that, and I think that's a really good mm -hmm. idea. Yeah, so I've got two cups of my strawberries. I still see some strawberries in there, so I can feel that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put that in a bowl with um, four cups of sugar. So it's not a low, really low sugar option, but let's see. Some of them didn't get as small as others. I know. Gonna, well, let me uh, hit them again. Blend with them the, again. Okay. Yeah. This time you're gonna get them. <laughs> you know, actually having it in the, you know, one would think in the thinner or narrower bowl it would work, but actually, mm -hmm. you know, that worked well too, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, so two cups of strawberries mm -hmm. and four cups of sugar. And I'm just gonna guess I'm let those. Else. You always use real sugar instead of any type of artificial sugar. Yeah, right? they act a little differently with jam, if you're making jam. Um, and we're using um, a pectin that requires full sugar. So you mm -hmm. can buy a pectin that um, has a little bit lower sugar. Let me get my And I'm gonna get spatula. the pectin over here. So Shirt sure yeah. Gel, is that the brand? Or yes. is that the only brand you can get? Well, you can, and like I said, you can use like a lower sugar one. Mm -hmm. um, and that requires a little bit less sugar. More, it has more of a pectin. Pectin is what gels it together. Um, pectin is found naturally in fruits. And so they just commercialized it mm -hmm. so that we could um, make our jams. So I'm just going to stir this, or if you want to stir this and okay. try to sure. get it um, just as mixed as possible, and we'll start with our uh, pectin. So pectin, you have to um, heat it to activate it. Okay. So we have three-fourths cup of water. And did you have to, I know with canning in the past, I grew up mm -hmm. watching my mom mm -hmm. can because we had a farm in the back, um, had uh, lots of vegetable garden in the back. Mm -hmm. and but she had to sterilize the jars and everything. Mm -hmm. Do you do that or when you freeze it, it's not quite mm -hmm. the issue? Yeah, so I did with these um, because you do that for the purpose of, um, let's say some kind of foodborne illness was stuck in those jars and then you put it on the shelf for a year or for six months and it just oh, yeah. has time to breed. Um, so it's still important here. While you're in the freezer, bacteria doesn't really love to grow in um, frozen temperatures, when, but when you take it out, you know, um, you're, um, it's still important to definitely sterilize them. Um, and you probably saw that she put her rings and stuff on mm -hmm. um, and made them, um, her rings and her tops, mm -hmm. had them really hot sterilized and that helped with the actual sealing process, mm -hmm. but we're not actually sealing. So we don't need to do all that, but I would make sure they're, they're sterilized as well. And w how would you do that? Put them in the dishwasher mm -hmm. or would you pour boiling water in them? You or what can. Would you do? You can do both. For me, I like to um, set a small pot of water over and I put all my rings and all my lids in there and I just let them boil. And um, once they come to a boil, you can just stop and leave them on the hot water. But um, the hot water on the rubber seal mm -hmm. helps with the sealing process. And then you have a piping hot jar and piping hot jam and it just seals. But right now we're making freezer jam. Mm -hmm. So we don't need that too much. Sounds good. Um, so for about a minute, I'm gonna bring this to a bowl, and then um, for about a minute, because I need to activate that pectin. Will it thicken? It does, it, a little bit, and then once I put it with my jam and let it sit, mm -hmm. then it will thicken. Uh, freezer jam is not as thick as a jam that you would can, that you boil down the sugar and the fruit. Um, it's not as thick, mm -hmm. uh, so if it's not as thick as what you're expecting if you make this, you're right on um, track. Okay. Um, but I think it's delicious on top of ice cream, let's say a pancake or a waffle. Um, so we'll let this 
boil for a little bit. We'll combine them and then we'll put it in our jars. And I've got two more recipes with local strawberries. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a break mm -hmm. then and we will show the finished product yeah, with okay. that. But And also, by the way, the recipes are on Cuisine with Jean, www. Mm -hmm. of course, website. And we would welcome having you go there and check them out. So we'll be right back. If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks, and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with the hand finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. Sarah, during the break, we ladled the mm. strawberry preserves or jam preserves freezer jam freezer, freezer jam, jam. Mm -hmm. okay and oh it just looks absolutely yeah. wonderful and we're going to show them again at the end mm -hmm. but what are you going to make this part yeah so i'm going to put together a quick smoothie with local strawberries and actually a fruit salsa and some cinnamon sugar chips so mm, for the fruit salsa we'll start that first mm -hmm. i've got one apple and i diced it really thin and i did this before the show i diced mm -hmm. it really thin because it's salsa we're going to be um, scooping it up with the chips so um, one apple i probably will do a second one uh, this is a great appetizer for a um, for a, a dinner party or a picnic in the summer. So you've got another few weeks left of strawberry season, so take advantage. So it's um, pretty thin how I dice those apples. So I'm just gonna dice my strawberries thin. And you do them by hand as opposed to, because if you put them in a food processor or a, or a chopper or something, mm -hmm. it's gonna puree them. Right? Yeah, and this is a salsa and it's mm -hmm. chunky. Mm -hmm. um, so if you think about uh, a salsa or a pico de gallo, how you can still tell what everything was. Mm -hmm. And so I did one apple and I'll probably do a cup or two of strawberries might not get through all of them right now um but we'll do some strawberries and you see i'm slicing them pretty thin mm -hmm. they don't have to be perfect um because i just need them small enough to fit on a chip <laughs> and this is a, a really healthy appetizer too i, I mean most so. of you think of a really high calorie and whatnot but this is this is actually yeah. good for you and as well as tastes good i'm always looking for something a dish to bring that's not super heavy mm -hmm. um, because everybody brings super heavy and flavorful things and they're tasty but there's nothing ever light besides just a vegetable tray mm -hmm. so I'm always looking for something um, a little bit lighter so I've got these strawberries they don't have to be perfect and I'm gonna mix them with my apples and yep you want to get the apples okay Put Let's them in see. Here. We are going to put on the screen the Ripe Revival website. Mm -hmm. People can go on there and order local produce, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and support our local farmers as well as get them. Like you know, now that we know folks, and you might have known this, but it was great that Sarah told us that when you get strawberries when they're picked, they don't ripen anymore. So if you want the peak of ripeness and juiciness, yep. yeah. And so we preserved them. Also, you can just um, wash them. 
top them and put them in the freezer and a freezer bag and just use them in your smoothies all year so I do that too um, so I've got my strawberries I've got my apples and this is actually strawberry jam that I made um, last year and I canned this so it was shelf stable and you can tell the color difference um, so this is freezer jam and it's not dark because I didn't have to cook the fruit um, I'm preserving it by keeping it in the freezer and so this is jam that I made uh, last year so I didn't uh, there is a recipe and I'll post that um, but you know as you feel led uh, but it's just the three ingredients or I have some local blueberries as well so we'll throw those into our um, and I've washed these and we'll throw these into our fruit salsa mm. and we'll make our what, cinnamon what sugar farming chips. operation is that? Did they come this from? is Cottle Farms. They're in mm -hmm. Eastern North Carolina. They're in Faison. Um, they're a pretty big operation. They do berries. They do muscadine grapes. Um, mm. And you'll find them actually in your major stores right now. You'll see Cottle Berries or Cottle Farms. So um, they so cover a So this is ready, lot. right? That is. I'm going to just let it sit mm. and all those flavors get together and we'll work okay. on our cinnamon sugar chips. Good. Okay. So I have a tortilla. I have, you could use just uh, a white flour tortilla, but I used a whole grain. It's another way to get some fiber in. You know, we're already um, working with a healthy recipe, so let's keep it that way. So I've got a tortilla, and I've got some melted butter, and I have some cinnamon sugar mixture. So I have a pastry brush here. If you had a, um, a can of spray Pam or olive oil, you could do, you could just spray. But I'm gonna um, just paint the tortillas with a little bit of melted butter. Both sides. Both sides. And so you, mm -hmm. one could actually spray instead of that? Yeah, so the, the application of the butter is to stick our cinnamon sugar mixture. So mm -hmm. cinnamon sugar, um, it's about a two to one. So two sugar to one um, cinnamon. And so I'm just gonna sprinkle my cinnamon sugar mixture on top of my tortilla. Mm -hmm. And this, these are for the chips to dip into this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yum. And um, that butter is going to make it stick, and uh -huh. it's going to help it crisp up a little bit. So I have one done, and then I'm going to take a pizza cutter or a knife, and then I'm just going to cut into chips. Mm -hmm. And then once I've cut it into chips, I'm going to put it on a baking dish or a, um, a baking pan, mm -hmm. um, and then put it in the oven about 450, 425 for a few minutes on each side. I'll flip it halfway and, until they get really crispy. So we've got these, they're chips, and perfect for dipping. These crispy chips. Uh-huh, and <laughs> wow. I've already pre-made some chips uh -huh. um, to go with our fruit salsa, so we can enjoy that. And then just last but not least, um, a quick strawberry smoothie. Mm -hmm. So strawberry and banana um, today, but you can put anything together. So I've cleaned my strawberries. Did you know the tops of strawberries are actually edible? You can eat no. those. Mm -hmm. And if- Do they taste? How do they taste? Though? So if you put it in a smoothie, you can't really tell. Um, okay. And it's just one way to use the whole plant. Um, so I wouldn't, you know, over uh, overdo it, and I would make sure they're clean. Um, but you can actually eat those. It's kind of just like another green. So about a cup of strawberries. Mm -hmm. um, I could have these uh, strawberries frozen, and that could be like my ice and something to chill it. Um, these are not frozen right now, but in an ideal world, I've got frozen strawberries in my freezer. Mm -hmm. So I do about a cup or two of strawberries that are frozen. Mm -hmm. I do a whole banana. Mm -hmm. And, and then, you don't have to cut it up at all. No, it's going to do it for us. And then I'm going to um, do um, some Greek yogurt. So this is Greek plain yogurt. If I wanted to, I could put some vanilla in there. It's super sweet from all this fruit anyways. Mm -hmm. so I was going to we'll say, so this. I would think, yeah, you don't need any sugar at all. Yeah. This is and if you really needed some more, you could add some more. <laughs> uh, but I think I don't think you will. So mm -hmm. we're gonna uh, mix that up, and we'll start to taste that, and we'll plate everything, and enjoy that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to just pop it so they can see what sure. it's doing. Sure. Sure. Okay. See it. And, and you also, you if you needed more um, moisture, you could put in some water or some orange juice to help everything. <laughs> Pretty too. Do you eat a lot of smoothies? 
I do. Um, they're quick in the morning, but I do need to put them together and have it all ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, so usually I have my frozen strawberries. I will even, um, when a banana goes bad, or mm -hmm. if it starts to brown a little bit more than that, I actually put, I take the, the peel off, I put um, the whole banana, or I, I chop it up and slice it, put it in a freezer bag, and just keep it in the freezer so I can quickly add it to a smoothie. So oh, yeah. once your bananas start to brown, Go ahead and put them in the freezer for banana bread, for smoothies. Um, so I usually will do this. And there's protein in here from the Greek yogurt. Um, but I would put another scoop of protein powder if this is going to be your whole breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, you'd be a little hungry and a few, uh, not too long with not a lot of protein. So I'd pair it with maybe a scoop of peanut butter or some cheese on the side or some, something with a little bit more protein if that's your whole breakfast. But this is a great way to start breakfast. And so this this would not be mm -hmm. one cup of Greek yogurt would not be sufficient protein in your opinion. Well, let's see how much protein's in there. Mm. It's about 15 grams. Uh -huh. um, and you should said you shoot for about 30. I per do meal. 25 to 30. I've just found that keeps me full. Uh -huh. um, but I'm also young and active, and <laughs> um, and I think I, for me I need a lot of volume of food too. So if I have mm -hmm. a little nibble of something, my stomach knows that I'm not full. So mm -hmm. I would need this whole smoothie and I'd probably have a piece of cheese or an egg on the side. Um, and that would probably be enough for me calorie-wise and protein-wise mm -hmm. um, if I'm going to eat three meals a day and maybe some snacks in there. And you've got a one-year-old. Will he drink that? He will, yes. Yeah. And I'm going to bring this to him. So he loves strawberries. He'll actually eat whole strawberries. I can't wait uh -huh. to take him to a U-Pick in North Carolina. Um, North Carolina, I've heard at one point, is the number three producer of strawberries in the U.S., um, but they don't make it off the farm. They usually, people are enjoying them on the farm, which is great. Um, uh -huh. Farmers want to welcome you on the farm. So Absolutely. go out to your local you pick. So how do people find out where the local you picks are? Mm -hmm. Google it? Mm -hmm. I mean, is that you can um, Google ncfarmfresh.com and find strawberry, just search strawberries, mm -hmm. and you'll see all the farmers that offer a you pick um, We also carry local strawberries when they're in season, so we'll carry them. We have actually have some buckets, we have quarts, and we have some of these in a plastic shell. Mm -hmm. And if you're in Rocky Mount, we're all over the strawberry season. So if you look at our Facebook page and our Instagram page, uh, we might have a pop-up market near you. Um, we're setting up at the hospital every week oh, um, for all their employees, and um, they've really been enjoying that. Um, they can't get out too much um, to go to the local farm, so we're bringing it to them. Um, so you can you can find local strawberries and find them quick because they're going. Oh, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they need to be eaten while they're just bursting mm -hmm. with flavor, folks. So we're going to clean this, have the mm -hmm. finished products, and we'll be right back. If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks, and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with the hand finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. Sarah, this looks wonderful. I tell you what's 
what's better this time of year, but I start, but really any time of year <laughs> than fresh fruits and vegetables. Yeah, right? I know. Well, so let's look at our freezer jam. How beautiful that is! Mm-hmm. I left the tops off um, just to let some of that heat come out, and mm-hmm. I'm just gonna let that gel and let the heat come out, and then I'll move it to my fridge if I want to eat it within the next three weeks, uh, or if I don't, if I don't think I can, I'm just gonna move it to my freezer. Um, if it's in your freezer, I would take it out once, let it thaw, and then eat it. I wouldn't refreeze. Um, but thaw it in your refrigerator, though, not out. Oh, yes, thaw it in your refrigerator. Okay. Good distinction. Yes, because uh-huh. um, it's still it's a food, um, and it's got a high sugar content, but mm-hmm. still bacteria can grow. So I would take it out once, thaw it in your fridge, and consume it within three weeks. But like you said, I don't think it would even last no, that long. No, <laughs> and I like the idea of the smaller containers yeah. too, mm-hmm. because that way you can know that it will be consumed mm-hmm. in the in the time period mm-hmm. that you got for mm-hmm. it. So, and I do like the when you were pulling some for the salsa. It was darker because you had cooked mm-hmm, the berries. Mm-hmm. I think the bright red berries of not cooked. Beautiful, really, right? Uh-huh. And if it's not necessary to keep it on a shelf, if you have freezer room, mm-hmm. go ahead and use it. Mm-hmm. Um, so the heat's up basically out of them. I'm just going to put the lids on tight. And like I said, it's going to go in the fridge or in the freezer. And um, I would use those on top of pancakes, waffles, toast. Um, it's uh, maybe on top of yogurt to make a parfait. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a that's another great way, and you can taste the season all year long. Mm-hmm. And then we've got our fruit salsa. Okay. Want to dig into this? Oh yeah, definitely. All right. And these are I'm gonna just break one and show. You know they're really crispy. Mm-hmm. So, so I bake those at home, uh-huh. and um, remember it's a whole grain tortilla, and cinnamon and sugar. We've got our apples, our jam, strawberries, and blueberries. Mm. Very good. I tell you, one thing I really like too is the cinnamon. Mm-hmm. The um, and you brush these with butter both sides, um, mm-hmm. and then put cinnamon and sugar. Mm-hmm. Cinnamon but sugar mixture. The mm-hmm. cinnamon with the apples and the blueberries and the strawberries is really good. Goes really well. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And so, tell us again where you would take that or use that. I would use that at a, at a picnic or um, just any kind of dinner party, things like that, and. You don't have to use these fruits. You can use blackberries. Mm-hmm. You can use however much uh, blueberries as you like. You can use more strawberries, less strawberries, any type of apple. Um, I've never tried a banana in there, but it might work. A kiwi, um, really anything. And then I hold it together with some type of jam or jelly. Is there a concern honey. if you use apples and you do it in advance that the apples would turn dark? So, I'm glad you asked that. I cut my apples last night to bring mm-hmm. them here, mm-hmm. and I kept them nice and white um, by squeezing lemon or lime juice on them. Um, so, if you put a lemon or a lime juice, um, something acidic, orange mm-hmm. juice too, on top of a cut apple, it blocks that enzymatic reaction that's going mm-hmm. to happen, so the browning. Um, and so, I just... Um, drizzled a little bit of that over top and tossed it and mm-hmm. so it didn't turn brown so it was nice and pretty. And um, it, it definitely looks better mm-hmm. if it's not brown. Yeah well and there is um, that acidity in those strawberries as well so mm-hmm. even if you didn't do that in advance that strawberry mixture and that jam and mm-hmm. actually um, all the sugar in there that will keep them nice and white too or um, not turning brown so that'll be good and um, the then we have our smoothie mm-hmm. and it's nice and chill and I garnished, I cut a strawberry in half, mm-hmm. um, not all the way, so I could just sit it on the side. So I've got a mm. strawberry banana smoothie. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. You don't need any more sugar. You don't need any more sugar. I know I'm a big Greek yogurt person, mm-hmm. but the thought of being able to, to, my Greek yogurt doesn't taste like this. Mm-hmm. I mean, and a little bit of vanilla would be good here. Oh, um, yeah. That would be good. And maybe even, even a little cinnamon. cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think that'd be great. Think so. Well, Ripe Revival, mm-hmm. great local produce folks. Go to the website for, for Ripe Revival uh-huh. and you can order produce from them or find out where they're going to be and buy from them. But Sarah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me again. I appreciate it. Well, you are welcome and we will see you next week. waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. 
Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount.